Erica, Mr. Briscoe, you folks are back. We are. I'm just waiting to receive the uh, draft acknowledgement of service. All right. I'm assuming you folks didn't work anything out. No, Your Honor. It was close. It was close. It was so close. It was so close. <laughs> well, and his his counsel, they're stepping in for you know his actual attorney. So I don't know that. I don't know if you were you, to do that or not. Are y'all ready? No, I, we. My office was probably supposed to say it. Are you folks ready to go forward? I am today. Okay, so I got a whole bunch of people in here. I'm assuming they're your witness, y'all's witnesses. Uh, my understanding is that Miss Bistro does not have any um, witnesses, and that we discussed that in the breakout room. And we have uh, are only going to be putting up probably just Miss Sullivan. And we have the, the, the exhibits and videos that we uh, provided to the court, um, which Miss. Um, uh, this row has said that she would stipulate to, so we don't have to go through all of that. Okay, so I got I got a Vivian's iPhone, uh, somebody a mall, which I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Deja Sullivan. Those are not witnesses. Those are I recognize the name of Deja Sullivan and Vivian. I believe those are family members. Okay. For, for not for us, for the for the respondent, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, so y'all just want to watch. Y'all didn't want to go on YouTube and watch. You just want to watch from here. Okay. If I see you driving, I'm kicking you off, and you can pick up kitchen up on YouTube. Uh, Ms. Friel said, Ms. Bristow, uh, and then y'all's going to service. Uh, and you just have to give us permission to use your like the electronic signature. So do y'all want to give openings? Um. I, attorney, I believe we'll waive openings and just go straight into. Ms. Bristow, you go with that? Um, I, I, I think I would like, like yeah, okay. I, I think I'd like to give some background. Okay. Uh, if, well, if, exactly. if, I, if I could get both the Sullivan's to raise your right hands for me. All right, y'all swear for testimony you're about to give is the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. Just, just nod y'all's heads right now because you can, you can unmute yourself when you start to talk. All right, you want to give a brief opening then, uh, Ms. King, uh, Ms. Bristow's going to? Yes, Mr. Eldy will give the opening, Your Honor. Okay. Good afternoon, Your Honor. This case um, involves Ms. Sullivan. She has uh, uh, applied previously for a, uh, for a temporary restraining order and um, defendant, I mean, the respondent, Mr. Sullivan, has violated uh, the terms of the order numerous times from April 3rd all the way up to the end of uh, the end of April. Uh, we will, um, um, the evidence will show that Ms. Sullivan is continually in fear for her life and this, the temporary or the restraining order should be extended. Ms. Bristow? Um, Your Honor, these parties are currently married, although they have been previously married and divorced. Uh, the marital residence was awarded to Mr. Sullivan in the previous divorce. Since that time, the parties decided to reconcile. They got remarried and Ms. Sullivan moved back into uh, the marital residence. Evidence today will show that the parties were attempting to make it work, although Mr. Sullivan paid for everything and Ms. Sullivan did not help with any of the household finances. The argument that ultimately led to this hearing today and Mr. Sullivan's reason for asking for another divorce was largely due to Ms. Sullivan's adult son. A little over a year ago, Ms. Sullivan requested that her adult son live in the marital residence. Evidence will show that Ms. Sullivan's son is in his 30s and lived in the home for approximately one year without helping assist with any of those household bills. Mr. Sullivan then learned that Ms. Sullivan's son was out on bond for several charges including drug-related charges and child pornography. Because of this, my client became anxious about him living in the home, and this ultimately caused the demise of Mr. and Ms. Sullivan's second marriage. The evidence will show that my client kicked out Ms. Sullivan's son due to him getting physically violent with him. Since that time, the parties have not been getting along, as Ms. Sullivan blames Mr. Sullivan for kicking her adult son out of the home. Ms. Sullivan is here today to claim that Mr. Sullivan beat her with a pole and threw her down the stairs. 
The evidence will show that is not the case. My client will admit that the parties got into a heated argument. However, he never put his hands on her. Mr. Sullivan was ultimately arrested due to a bruise on Ms. Sullivan's leg that she claims was put there by Mr. Sullivan. Mr. Sullivan is currently out on bond and is required to stay away from Ms. Sullivan, which he has. It is our position that Ms. Sullivan is using this TPO request as a way to better her position for the party's divorce action. This is a pattern for her. Evidence will show that in 2018, when Mr. Sullivan told Ms. Sullivan he wanted a divorce, she also filed a TPO against him then, which was dismissed due to lack of evidence. Mr. Sullivan now believes that because he told her he wants another divorce within their heated argument, Ms. Sullivan is trying to go down the same path as the last divorce and falsely accuse him of physical violence. Ms. Sullivan has already moved out of the residence and she has the protection of Mr. Sullivan's bond conditions. There's no need to further cause a temporary order to be put in place other than to cause Mr. Sullivan further anguish for him wanting out of marriage. We ask that this court dismiss the temporary protective order. In the event the court is not inclined to do so, we ask that Mr. Sullivan be granted permission to live in the marital residence as Mr. Sullivan cannot afford to continue paying the mortgage on a home he does not reside in and Ms. Sullivan has already moved out. All right. And you want to call your first witness? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, go ahead. I'd like to call Miss Tanya Sullivan. Miss Sullivan, just take yourself off mute for me. All right, she's been previously sworn. Go ahead. Miss Sullivan, you're still on mute. Your Honor, if I may, she's. Uh... If I can assist, I'm going to just, if I can. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. So you need to turn your camera on, please. Oh. Ms. Sullivan, you got to turn the camera on. Right, Miss Sullivan. Right. Yes. Okay. Are, are you able to hear? Okay. Yes, I can. All right. Um, all right, Miss Sullivan. Would you please state your full name for the record? Tanya C. Sullivan. Are you currently married? Yes. And who are you married to? Robert L. Sullivan. And what is your address? Where do you live? Okay. 337 Mossy Cup, Bourbon, Georgia, 30213. Okay. Now, do you recall the events of April 3rd, 2022? Yes. Could you please explain to the court what happened? Yes, on April 3rd, my husband and I were talking and we were, uh, he was trying, we was trying to discuss uh, the event that happened between uh, my son, he was bringing it up and I didn't want to discuss it. And I, he was getting heated and angry at the fact that we, he was bringing it up and I walked away. Okay. And when, All right. So you walked away. Where did you, where did you go? I went up the stairs. Went up the stairs. So you were downstairs when the, when the argument started. Is that correct? Yes, sir. You went upstairs. Where did you go when you went upstairs? I went upstairs and laid across the bed to get away because he was getting heated and angry. Was he downstairs? When, he, when you went upstairs, was he still downstairs? Yes. Okay, and then after you laid on the bed, what happened? He came up the stairs with the pole aggressively at me and cussing and fussing, well, cussing and abusing me and put the pole across me with pressing on me. He climbed on top of me and was choking me with the pole, choking me and calling me names and calling me bitches and telling me that I'm not the uh, motherfucker that you was married to before and, and just kept uh, 
uh, calling me bitches and hoes and just was saying everything and pressing it against me. He was uh, His body weight was on top of me and his knee was in my stomach and he was pressing on me and he uh, kept pressing on me and I wasn't saying anything. I was just laying there and it was making him more angrier. And then he, he, he got up and had the pole up in his hand like he was going to hit me. And I turned to the side to, to try to brace myself from, from hitting me. And he hit me across the, my backside with the pole on, on my hip. Okay, and so after, after he hit you on the backside with the pole, what happened next? He he walked away, and I thought he went down the stairs, but he did. So he walked away. Where did he walk to? He he was in the foyer. Okay, and where did you go? I got I got up. I got up and was going down the stairs, and he came out with the pole and slung at me, and I grabbed it, and he we was tussling. He pushed me down down the steps, and I fell. I fell on my hip and I was crawling down the steps and I crawled down the steps to the door. I okay. grabbed it. <laughs> All right. So you were, your testimony is that you were pushed down the steps by Mr. Sullivan. Did he follow you down, down the stairs? Yes, at that time. But I was, I crawled to the door and got outside. <laughs> okay. And what did you do when you got outside? I called 911. Okay, Your Honor, with the court's permission, I'd like to play the 911 tapes that were the, the 911 call that was made by Miss Sullivan on April 3rd. Okay, sure. Your Honor, this is Exhibit 1A. Gotcha. Fulton County 911, what's the address of the emergency? Yes, I like to call the 911 for domestic dispute. What's the address? 337 Monty Cup. Repeat that for verification. 337 Monty Cup. What's your name? Tanya Sullivan. And your telephone number? 404-831-8749. Okay, tell me what happened. My husband is threatening me and he drug me down the stairs. He's hitting me, beating me. He's very violent. I want him out of here. And, and he has a weapon. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Did he brandish the weapon? Did he try to use it in the argument today or does he just have one in the house? He, he have one in the house, but he hit me with a, a pole and drug me down the stairs. Is he still, is anybody uh, drunk yes, or yes, intoxicated? Yes. No, yes, yes he, he has been drinking. Okay, what is his name? Robert Sullivan. Where is he at right now? He's still in the house with you? Yes, he's in the house. I came outside because he keeps uh, he, he trying to lock me out. He's telling okay. me. What is he at? So is he black, white? Black. It's 280 pounds. And I'm 5'3". And, and, and not a uh, hundred, I'm hundred and maybe. Okay. What do you have? What color shirt do you have on? I have on a, a fatigue shirt and he has on a red shirt. Okay, we'll get somebody out there. Okay. All right. All right, Your Honor, I'd move to enter Exhibit 1A as well as the CAD report Exhibit 1B into evidence. No objection. Uh, it's admitted. All right, Ms. Sullivan, after you made the, the 911 call, 
who, if anyone, did, showed up to your house? Uh, officers came, and when they came, I was outside, and they came in. Um, they I ran up to them, and they asked me to identify myself. Okay. All right. So the officers responded. Did did you make a report to them? Yes. Did they speak with your husband? Yes. Uh, what happened after they spoke with him? Well, once once they talked to him, they came back and talked to me, and um, they asked me was I hurt, and when I said I wasn't, they asked me to uh, go in the restroom and look under my clothes, and I did. And I had a bruise that uh, was under my clothes that they took a picture of. Okay. All right. Uh, at this point, Your Honor, I'd like I'd like to tender Exhibit Two A as a, as the incident report um, from April third. No objection. All right. Submitted. All right. So. Was Mr. Sullivan arrested that night, that day? Yes, yes, okay. he was. When was the next time you saw Mr. Sullivan? When uh, uh, at the arraigning the court that day when he was uh, bond hearing. What day would that be? Uh, April fourth. April fourth. All right. So at the bond hearing, were they, was he able to bond out? Yes, and his. What were the conditions of his bond? Just the one time, one time escort to the house with officers and, uh, to stay away from me. Okay. At this time, you uh, I'd like to, um, the court to take judicial notice of the order for bond that was signed on April fourth. This is saying that uh, this is stating that there there is to be no contact with. Miss Sullivan, as well as you have to stay away from 337 Mossy Cup Drive in Fairburn, Georgia. No, and you have a one time escort with the uh, police officer to get to retrieve belongings and clothes. Okay. All right. Thank you. I got it. I got it pulled up now. Okay. Okay. So after the, the, after the court that morning, the morning of the 4th, What's the next time you saw Mr. Sullivan? He came to the house that night and to retrieve his items with officers and got his car. Okay, at this uh, at this time, Your Honor, I'd like to tender exhibit, uh, exhibit number three, 3A and B, 3 and B the, the 911 call Mr. Sullivan made to go into the property as well as the CAD, the CAD report from April 4th. All right, are you playing it? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, go ahead. Uh, would you said exhibit 3A? My apologies, Your Honor. I believe that. 3A and 3B. Okay, those are from April the 5th, the next day. Um, I'm sorry, the, uh, the April the 4th, um, April the 4th, 911 call as well as that. That would be, you're on exhibit 2A and 2B. Yes. Okay. 2A and 2B. Uh, so I have him 2A as an incident report. He admitted on 4-3. Right. That, that, the two, it's exhibit 2A and 2B is what we're playing. Those are the ones from, uh, the night that he was released. Okay. All right, go ahead. Harrison County Emergency Services, this is Shawan speaking. How may I help you? How are you doing, sir? My name is Robert Sullivan. I was calling to see if I could get an officer uh, stand in for me. I just uh, got out on bail on, on a family uh, violence charge. I don't have a TTO, but I did uh, do a, uh, a SOB bond. Uh -huh. I just wanted to follow the protocol for my condition. And I just uh, needed to go and get uh, some work clothes that my wife I would have had. And that's a and how far are you away from the location? 
right now I'm sitting at the San Antonio Falcon uh, development with a purpose, new public and all of that is. Mm-hmm. And my home is off of, off of Mooney Road. Okay, and how, how long are you in a, How far away are you? Well, I'm about uh, maybe five, you, you, seven minutes from you, the subdivision. Okay, so you're trying to get the clothes from that location? Well, yes, this year I want to just call y'all and meet y'all possibly at a new location or if, if I were to just stop at the top of the subdivision, if that would suffice, I can do that as well. Yeah, not a problem. So where you're at right now, local? Because you're within five minutes away from the location, that's good enough. Um, I can send a unit there, but once they get there, um, you would have to at least be at the scene of the address that you're about to provide. So I need to I need to be at the address that I'm about to provide. So by the time the unit gets there, you're right. By the time they get there, so um, but I are you in a vehicle? Yes. Okay. So what you can do is park around it. Um. That way they can pinpoint you and go through that uh, address. Okay, that'll be fine. I'll stop maybe a couple of houses away. Okay, okay. And what's the address of the location? Uh, uh, the address is 337 Mossy Cup Drive. That's a fabric address that is within the jurisdiction. Okay, so that was street name for M O S S Y Mossy Cup. All right. And what's your name, sir? I'm Robert Sullivan. Donald. Robert. I will Robert. Be, uh, chief. I want to call back number for you, Rob. Call back number six seven eight five zero eight six zero one nine. All right. So it's a property retrieval. Okay. What kind of vehicle are you in? A uh, black uh, Dodge Charger. It's a 2018 black Dodge Charger. All right, not a problem. And yeah, just sit a couple houses away from the address. Um, and the units will be there as soon as they can. Turn your hazards on, sir. Okay. Do it. Okay. All right, not a problem. And they'll be there as soon as they can. Do you know if there's any weapons at all? No, 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 no weapons. As you said, do I know if any weapons at home? Yes. Any ones at home? And any weapons at the home? I don't, I don't. Oh, no, no. All right, not a problem. And do you have a key or will somebody be there to let you in? Well, uh, she should be there. The officer, uh, yesterday, uh, he retrieved my keys while I went in the booking. Okay. And, uh, I didn't get out, I didn't get out, of, I didn't time to go by uh, to pick up my property. I have my cell phone keys. Uh, by chance, do you know where I go to pick those up tomorrow? Um, it depends on the uh, precinct that you were incarcerated with. Uh, well, uh, we came from this address. I don't know which precinct covers uh, the Dabuni Road area. Um, so that is Union, the South Fulton. So you have to go to the South Fulton precinct. Which which one is the South Fulton precinct? Uh, on I mean, where the you know, I'm going to give you an address in one second. All right, that'll be 5539 Old National Highway. Okay, that's old precinct right there. Okay, I know yep. that. Yeah, um, that's good enough. Thank you. And you can go get it from there. They should have it. If not, you can call them and see if they have your own um, belongings at that location before you go. Um, and if not, then you can get further information on where your keys are um, from them. Keys and stuff. Yes, okay. And what time do they open tomorrow? Um, 8 a.m. After 8 a.m. Okay, gotcha. All right, I'm ready. The units are on route to you. They should be as they can. Thanks, sir. All right.
Okay. All right, at this time, Your Honor, I'd like to enter into evidence the 911 call from April 4th, as well as the CAD report from April 4th. No objection. Okay, it's admitted. Ms. Sullivan, uh, were, you, were you at the house when your husband showed up with the police? Yes. How did you feel at that time? Afraid. Afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid of him. Okay. Now, were you were you a little scared? Were you like, how, no. how how I, fearful? I was were afraid you? because he when he gets angry, he gets very angry, and he gets upset. He he gets violent. Okay, so that was the night of the of April fourth. When was the next time that you saw your husband? April the 4th, that night when he came in? Um, after, after that, April the 4th. When was the next The next time? morning. The next morning. The next April morning. The okay. At this time, I'd like to play the 911 call made by Mr. Sullivan to the police department on April 5th. And just for future reference, I've stipulated to all the police calls, so okay. I'm not going to object to any of those. Okay, oh. go ahead. I think we can hear it. Is that just me? No, I can't hear it either. Oh, there it is. Fulton County Emergency Services. This is Tiffany. How may I assist you? Oh, yes, ma'am. I was uh, told to call this number. It's not an emergency, uh, but I uh, thought this was non emergency. But I, I was calling to see if I could have an officer to meet me at my residence after standby. I needed to get some personal items. How far are you from the location? Uh, well, probably about five minutes. Okay, hold for one uh, second. <laughs> What's the address? It is 337 Mossy Cup Drive. It's an experiment, but it's, it's under you all's jurisdiction. One second. What's your name and phone number? Um, Robert Sullivan. And uh, my phone number uh, is 470 905 0732. Okay, go for one second. What kind of vehicle will you be waiting in? Well, I'm going to be in a 2015 Silver uh, Chevy Camaro. Do you know if the other party is at the location? I, now, that part I don't. I know uh, usually uh, she, 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 she has to be to work until like 3.30. So, uh, normally she'll be there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get him out, okay? Yes, ma'am, I thank you. Thank you. And I would move to enter the both the 911 call as well as the CAD report from April 5th of 2022 into evidence. Submitted. All right, Ms. Sullivan, uh, did you see your husband that morning with uh, police officers? Yes. Okay. Um, did he retrieve anything from the house? Yes, he came in and got some paperwork or but he, he got things on that night too. And okay, uh, Ms. Sullivan, after he got the paperwork, did he leave? Yes. Did the police leave? Uh, he left and and then once he left, he, he got in the car, he turned around and came back. Okay, <laughs> all right, so he left. Did the police leave after he left? Yes. When was the next time you saw him after he left? He turned around and came back and brought dirty clothes and throwed them in the house, telling me to wash them. And the police are came back okay. behind. The police were right behind him. Yes. They, All right. So she turned around too. Okay. Now, did you notice the um, police talking to Mr. Sullivan? She asked him, "Did he forget?" Okay. Something? All right. Um, after that, did he leave for the day? Yes. Okay. When was the next time that um, Mr. Sullivan came back to the property? 
uh, that that night on the sixth. The sixth, which will be the next day, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, how do you know that he was? He came back on November. I was, um, I I was afraid, and I heard him. I you heard, heard him. him what do you mean? On the phone uh, in the backyard. In the backyard. So he was on the backyard, and he was speaking on the phone, and you could. He was loud enough to hear your voice. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Do you know who he was talking to? No. All right, but he was on in the backyard, and at this time, Your Honor, I'd like to play the 911 call made by Miss Sullivan to the police. Okay, go ahead. It's Exhibit 4A, Your Honor. Exhibit okay. 4A. Okay. Petition is Exhibit 4. What is the address of the emergency? Hey, Repeat that address for verification purpose. Can you plan? Repeat that address for verification purpose. Three three seven Mossica. This is the health department of this. It's the house. What's your name? Tony Sullivan. Mr. Sullivan? Yes. And what's the call back number for you? Paypal. What's the call back number for you? 4 0 4 8 All right, tell me exactly what happened. Hello? Tell me exactly what, what happened. I just need someone to come out here. My husband, I've got training in the order. He's here. He's supposed to be in my house. Your husband is doing what? Big question. You said your husband is doing what? I have a restraining order against him. If he's outside your house? Yes. Okay. Do you know if you have any weapons? Ma'am? Ms. Sullivan? Can you hear me? Ms. Sullivan? Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Miss Sullivan. Hello, can you hear me? Miss Sullivan, are you there? Miss Harris, join the breakout room with your lawyers. Ms. Sullivan, are you here? Can you hear me? Nothing heard, releasing the call. Your call has been forwarded. Hello. I asked someone to come out. I, my husband's here. He's not here, but he's gone now. But uh, I just called because he, he came here. He wasn't supposed to be here. Are you gone? Is he gone? Is he gone now? Yeah, I don't see him anymore. Okay, you got to get out? He has his Camaro. Camaro? Yes. Silver. Silver. And did you wait the hat on? No, I didn't. Is it black? Is it black? Is it black? All right. Six two three four five. All right. And 
No, I didn't. I'm, I'm in the house, and I, I, I heard him outside. I don't, I don't know. No, I don't know. All right, not a problem. I don't know. All right, I'll be back. Okay. All right, I'll be back. At this time, Your Honor, I'd like to enter the 911 call as well as the CAD report in as petitioners exhibits 4A and B. Sorry, it's admitted. All right, Ms. Sullivan. So as you were making the call and right after you made the call, how are you feeling? Afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid of him because he, he doesn't respect the order of the paper that just on my door in the order that they set for him not to be there. He don't respect it. He did, he just do what he want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Ms. Sullivan, you just stated that there was an order on your door. Who put that? Was it a bond order that was uh, entered in on April 4th? Yes, it was the same and bond order. Where was it posted? On my Did door you? and on my window, on my front door and on my welcome sign and on my inside my door. Okay. Now, do you have any security features on your uh, in, on your house? Yes, a ring system. A ring system. And what does a ring system do? Security. It captures video and rec records. Voice. It records. It records both video and audio or just video? Yes, okay. video and audio. Okay. All right. So... <laughs> At this time, Your Honor, I'd like to uh, play the 911 call made by Mr. Sullivan on April 9th of 2022. All right, go ahead. Ms. Bristow said she's stipulating to him. This is Ms. Williams speaking. How may I assist you? Fulton County Emergency Services. This is Ms. Williams speaking. How may I assist you? Uh, yes, ma'am. My name is uh, Robert Sullivan. I, I was actually calling you, uh, you all, to try to see if I can get an officer to stand in with me, but I'm actually behind an officer on a Butner Road. We're at the corner of Butner Road and uh, West Stud. Uh, the situation is uh, I needed him to stand by. Uh, my wife and I had a, had a dispute last Sunday. And uh, I have uh, an appointment today with a real estate agent, and uh, we just I'm looking to sell the property, and uh, I just uh, just wanted to make sure everything was, was good in that regard. And uh, so what's the address you need that to go? It's uh, three three seven Mossy Cup Drive. From how far from that address? Uh, I just turned on uh, on West Stubbs, and the officer he proceeded on uh, he or she should be uh going towards uh, the intersection of Stonewall Hotel and Butler Road now, but I'm like maybe two, two minutes or so away. What was your name? Robert Sullivan. Your call back number? Yes, ma'am, it's uh, 470, four new number, 9050732. What kind of vehicle are you gonna be in? I'll be in a silver uh, 2015 Chevrolet Camaro and I have on a Red Georgia Bulldogs uh, pretty uh, sweatpants, black sweatpants. Can you either get your property or you just want the officer? Well, I do have some more property uh, that, I, that I do need to get because uh, I, you know, I didn't take much. I just have like one work work uniform and just a little superficial stuff. But the, uh, the main objective also is too is we're gonna. Uh, look over the uh, issue of, of selling the house. That was something that, that we, we discussed prior to everything. So, but uh, no both really, but uh, she can probably handle the, the, the lingering part of, of uh, the agent looking at the property. I don't know how long it'll take. You said it'll be pretty quick. We did a little preliminary stuff over the phone. But for me, I just I need, to, need to do both really. I don't want to go ahead and get this, get this out of the way. Okay, we'll get an officer out there for you. Tell me the address again. It's 337 Mossy Cup Drive. 
Yes, sir. And I'll just wait. Uh, uh, I'll wait for like at the top top side of the subdivision, and we just ride down there together. And the agent, he said he was right on uh on Campus and Fabian Road, so we also be like right in concert with one another. All right, at this time, Your Honor, I'd like to enter in the 911 call made by Mr. Sullivan, as well as the CAD report from the, uh, from April 6th into evidence. All right, submitted. All right, Ms. Uh, Ms. Sullivan, were you at home on, on April, April 6th? Yes. Did you see your husband? Yes. Okay. Now it's uh, you said you stated earlier had a uh, a ring. Um, could you explain how the how the ring system works? Yes. Uh, if someone appears at my front door, it rings on my phone and notifies me that someone's there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did your ring system alert you on uh, on on the night? Did you get an alert on the night? Oh, on the night? On the night, yes. 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 Okay. Uh, at this time, Your Honor, I'd like to play the ring video from April 9th, 2022, 1 p.m. Any objections? No. No, I agree. All right, Ms. Sullivan, do you recognize uh, the person who came to your door? My husband's friend. Your husband's friend. Now, do you have uh, do you have a, an idea of what he was looking at based on where he was looking? He was looking at my signs that I had on the door. What that, signs? That my, the bond my, my, my bonds, do, my signs that was on the door that was uh, bond, my bond order. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, uh, Your Honor, this time I'd like to um, put the petitioner's ring video from April 9th at 12.01 p.m. into evidence. Okay. And at this time, okay. I'd like to, at this time, I'd like to also play the ring video from April 9th as well, uh, a little later on. Okay. Now, Ms. Sullivan, do you recognize that gentleman? Yes. And who is that? Antoine Rivers, my neighbor. And do you know him in, uh, from any other capacity? My husband's friend. Husband's friend. And what is what did he tear down from 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 your door? From my, bond, like? my bond order on the door. Your bond order from the door. Court okay. order, a court order document that was on the door. He took it off my property. He took it down. All right. He at this time, Your Honor, I'd like to enter in the evidence the ring video of Mr. Antoine Rip, uh, Antoine Rivers. No, it's admitted. All right, and um, I'd like to play the 901 call made by Miss uh, Miss Sullivan on uh, April 9th of 2022. One, what is the address of the emergency? 337 Mossica. Thank you, go ahead and repeat the address for verification. 337 Mossica, M-O-S-S-Y-C-U-P, Bourbon, Georgia, 30213. Thank you, ma'am. What's your phone number? 404-831-8749. Thank you. What's your name? Tanya Sullivan. Ms. Sullivan, tell me exactly what happened. Yes, I can report. I have a restraining order against my husband, and 
I, uh, he's not supposed to be on the premises. And uh, I have a video of my neighbor just coming on my property, turning down the side. I had it posted on my front door for him and, and as a court order for him not to be here. And I won't just put a restraint on Is my he neighbor to, for coming over in my yard. To okay. Why I'm not going to turn the sign down because I'm sure he told him to do that. Okay, so is your neighbor still on, on your property? Huh? Is your neighbor on your property now? No, he's not here anymore, but I have a video of him. I'm, I'm, it's my neighbor. Okay, you have a video of your neighbor tearing down a sign on my, on my property, tearing down a court order. From my door. Okay. And no, I didn't tell him that I can't tell somebody to be on my property, first of all. That, that is, it, he, he, he came in my yard and took off my court orders on my door. I need an officer out here. I need an officer out I'm here. I'm just saying, no problem, Ms. Sullivan. Go ahead and give me your description so when the officer, no problem. When the officer gets there, they need to know your description. What do you look like? Thank yes, you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Three what color? Thank you. What color clothing are you wearing? Ma'am? What color clothing are you wearing? I have on a black sweatshirt. Okay. And have you tested positive for COVID-19 in the last 14 days? Thank you, pardon? Have you tested positive for COVID-19 in the last 14 days? Oh, yes, ma'am. No, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. I'm we'll have an officer over there as soon as possible. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All righty. Bye-bye. And at this time, Your Honor, I'd like to enter into evidence the 911 call as well as the CAT report from April 9th. This would be petitioner's exhibit number 6A and B. Okay, it's admitted. All right, Ms. Sullivan, um, did the police respond to your home as a result of your call? Yes, sir. Okay, and what did they do? They came over and I told them what happened and I told them that my neighbor came over and took the signs down and they went over and talked to him and okay. they all right so how were you feeling at that at that time afraid 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 uh afraid of afraid, afraid of my husband because he's just doing crazy stuff okay now it's you said that he uh the two gentlemen two, two different gentlemen is that correct from the ring videos yes Okay, so the two gentlemen were both friends of your husband, is that correct? Yes. Okay. All right, so um, do you recall um, anyone responding to your property on April 21st? Yes. Who came to your property? Uh, the, the police, uh, South Fulton police came and was asked. Okay, and why did they why did they come to your property on that day? Uh, they said my husband had sent them over there to stop me from taking things out. Okay, and did you um, did you talk to your husband on that day? Uh, no, I did not because did you I just told talk to the police officers? Yes. Okay, at this time, Yana, I'd like to play the ring video from April twenty first of twenty twenty two. Any objection? No. Okay, go ahead. We can't hear it. Yeah, it's no sound. You may have to stop and go before you shoot. Once he get, I get halfway out, he block me off or do something right. crazy. Right. So I just, Max, come here. I just wanted, I just wanted you guys to be aware I'm leaving out of the house and I'm getting ready to move my new house. <laughs> okay, uh, Miss, Miss Sullivan, when you were speaking to the police, how were you feeling regarding your husband? 
afraid. Still afraid. Now, why were you afraid uh, at that that point? Because he keep coming over, doing things. He's not even doing what they asked him to do. He just keep coming over and the, the with the police for different reasons. Okay. And he's only supposed to come one time. All right. So, uh, when was your next court hearing um, after after the initial bond order on on the fourth? It was the six. I mean, the twenty second. I'm sorry. The twenty second. All right. So, you appeared in court on April twenty second. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Was your husband present? Yes, he appeared. Okay. And at this time, Your Honor, I'd like the court to take judicial notice of the ex parte protective order entered in into on April 22nd. Okay. That's it. Oh, Miss uh, Sullivan, what do you recall as the, uh, what does the order say regarding your husband and you? He had a one time vid come to the house, escort and to stay away. He was supposed to stay away from you. Um, yeah. He was was he supposed. To, was he supposed to come to the property? No. No. Was he supposed to uh, come near you? Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. So on. So after court was adjourned, after you guys left, when was the next time you saw your husband? Uh, at, at court there on the that morning of the court after court when was the next time you saw him on the video so um right now you and i'd like i'm on one call from april 22nd from mr sullivan okay we can't hear it i'm, I'm correcting i'm sorry i'm trying okay. to do that. Just be patient with me, you all. I'm working on it. That's why we have two of us here trying to make sure we get all this stuff on. It. And I apologize. I've heard this. I don't have any objection to it. I'm going to run to the restroom. I will literally be one minute, but I don't object to going ahead okay. and playing this. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm going to call back. I spoke to uh, the officer earlier about uh, having an officer come meet me uh, at my residence for standby. Uh, I'm going to have my realtor there with me to uh, take pictures of the property. Oh, okay. What's the address of location? Uh, it's uh, 337 Monty Cup Drive. And your name? Robert Sullivan. What's the phone number you calling for, Mr. Sullivan? It's 470-905-0732. And is there any particular reason why you need PD out there, why you take pictures of the residents? Yes. Okay. So uh, we have a divorce in place, and uh, okay. I found okay. out yesterday, uh, and she uh, moved uh, she moved uh, furniture out of the house just that she violated the standing order yesterday. And the officer on site, when I called you all, they told me that I had a CPO against me, which I didn't know about. I uh, wasn't served anything, and uh, it was the hearing was set for actually for this morning. So I did uh, call Superior Court and, and uh, acknowledge uh, that I just found out who you are, but I was never served anything. So it was reset, and I, I'm going to uh, just reset to uh, May 6th. And okay. I'm going to go back uh, with my attorney. So I just want to just err on the side of caution. She what, kind of, yesterday. what kind of vehicle are you in? I'm going to be in a silver uh, 2015 Chevy Camaro. And are you at the location now? No, I just, uh, when I spoke to the officer a little while ago, I just said, I just hang back. I didn't want to go to the residence here without an officer uh, in tow with me. Uh, where are you, where are you in respect to the residence? I'm right here. I'm, I'm, I'm about to turn into the subdivision now, so I'm just going to wait right at the top. That's the entrance uh, to, to the uh, subdivision. Is that the one off the, um, uh, the Mooney Road, I think? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, she's glad to get him out there. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, I was just going to say she shouldn't be there. Uh, 
she moved out yesterday. And, uh, I don't know what kind of damage was done to the house or actually what's missing. But again, she, the marshals came out yesterday and let her know that she was violating uh, the standing order. She was being very uncooperative with them and, uh, you know, or what have you. But that's, you know, neither here nor there now. I mean, you know, what's done is done. I'll take care of that in court. Okay, well, I'm going to go as soon as possible, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, at this time, Yon, I'd like to enter in the 911 call as well as the cab report from April 22nd as petitioners exhibit A, 7A, and 7B. All right, it's admitted. Uh, I miss. And let, me, let me ask you guys a question. Can, can us three go back into that breakout room where you guys were? Ms. King, Christo, Mr. Lee, can we, I'll join y'all in breakout room one if y'all. Yes. Please. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. All right. Mr. Sullivan, Ms. Sullivan. All right. So I'm sitting back there listening. No more than this sounds like the war of the roses. Mr. Sullivan, let me tell you something. I don't know what you don't understand about that bond order that says you go over there one time with law enforcement. One time. So far, I've heard what? Three? Four? The only other reason you would need to go over there is if somebody's putting on ATL scoop that the place is burning down. And you got a hose. And I know you can't control your, 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 your neighbors and your friends because they are like, man, she taking your stuff. She winding up the house. She got the washer. She got the dryer. She done took the dog. And she taking everything. Your house is empty, boy. I don't care if she leaves the air conditioning running all day. Let me tell you something. Judge Morrison will lock your butt up. She will lock you up so fast it will make your head spin. And I'm telling you this not just a judge to somebody's client. I'm telling you this as a former cop myself. You ain't got no extra power than anybody else because ain't nothing makes a cop mad is somebody trying to play the cop. What's up, huh? What's up, the cop? Well, then you know better. You know better. I don't know what I got to tell you to stay away. What else do you have there that you need? Nothing. Because it's been a month. And if you ain't got it, you don't need it. I don't care if she leaves that air conditioning running and the windows open. Fight about that in the divorce. Split the power bill. Miss so. You done got your poor niece up in here worried to death. Your family's worried about you. But look here. I, I don't know. Maybe they told you to put his bond conditions tape into the door. But it's probably embarrassing for him. But, but you did. But so his friend went over there probably, maybe on his own, because he probably said, hey, there's a piece of paper on your door. I mean, they like he ripped it up. He set it on a chair, <laughs> taking it down for his friend or whatever. But he can't control him. Miss something, you tell your friend, stop going over there. Stop going, stay out of it. There ain't nothing like getting mad, talking to some people about what so-and-so did to me. And now I want to be like, I got you. Ain't nothing about you sit there and get a bunch of women talking together and they talking about some man done hurt them. All them women at the table are looking for you. So they gonna hurt you because you don't hurt their friend. That's how women work. You ain't, I don't care if you take the police over there and give this lady some peace. Let her get her crap and get out of there. I can't modify your bond so you can go back to that house. I cannot modify your bond and go back to that house. Let me tell you about this. If Judge Morrison revokes your bond because you're violating her conditions, do you know what the capacity is at Rice Street right now? Do you know how many people are in there for murder? And do you know the jobs of a trustee? The unofficial job is to listen and tell everybody else why somebody's in there. 
So if she would have revoked your bond and you sitting there getting booked in, you're like, yeah, I was, I was a cop. I knew this. You don't think that trustee is going to run back there. One north, two north, seven north, seven south, and tell everybody, look who's up in here. Have you not thought this through? Because they ain't no little cod, they ain't no former cop sale at Rice Street. None. And Judge Lawson will make you sit there until your trial or you have served your 12 months. Do you understand? I, I don't. I don't understand why you keep going over there with police. What? I don't care. I don't care. You all got back together. You knew how she was before and that she was going to take your crap. So what made you think she was going to do something different this time? She's still going to take your crap. If that's what she did to you the first time, that's what she's going to do the second time. But Judge Kane's going to address anything, Miss Sullivan, that you have removed from that house, put in that U-Haul, or done anything to. If you have got rid of anything that you ain't supposed to because you've been served, pick out that thing with a standing order and read it. And read it good. Because you ain't supposed to remove anything, sell anything, trade encumber without leave of court. If you have went out there, what was, what was that show? remember that movie where she put all this stuff on the driveway and she's lit it, lit it all this stuff on fire. You can't do that. You can't do that. Now I understand he's calling the cops to go over there, Mr. Sullivan. What in the world do you think you just you took up one officer off the street? How many times a day do you watch the news? East Point, what, four people done got shot in the last three days. But no, this officer is out of service to escort you over there. You see him, the air conditioner's on. Here, tell it, they might be a ring doorbell, video done, shut down, and all this other stuff, and that better not have happened, because the only reason you were supposed to go over there was to get your first knock. And Ms. Sullivan, I don't know your plans, but if your plans is to get up out of that house because you packing up that U-Haul, then get up out of the house. Go where he can't find you. He doesn't know where you're at. Y'all both pulling one another's strings. You know people are going to call him. Don't make you go back over there because you got some bond condition. Don't get me wrong. Both these lawyers have my cell phone number. Miss Pollard's got it too. I think a lot of these lawyers on here probably have it. And don't, and it's not a bus phone, because I have got text in the middle, not just, can we text, see you in the morning? First thing, Zoom. I'm like, you go to Zoom, like, come on. Mrs. Silver, here's what I was telling them back there, but but your auntie there, Miss Silver, and all, all that passion and screaming and yelling. I know that. What I was suggesting is that we extend the ex parte and give y'all time to get your stuff in order. But here's the thing, Mr. Sullivan, it's still in place. I want y'all to work out this divorce. I think if y'all work out this divorce, all of this would be over because Miss Sullivan ain't never coming back to you and ain't gonna live near you. She don't wanna be around you. There's the presumption of innocence, but if that stuff happened, I wouldn't wanna be around you either. So, what's your plan? You just gonna sleep in an empty house, a half empty house with a U-Haul parked outside? That's a lot of money a day. Yeah, yeah. I want y'all to take a second. Go over there in the breakout room. Talk to your respective lawyer. I told her we can extend this 30 days. Y'all can come back. We can extend it. We can come back right after uh, Miss Bristow's vacation and come back and see what y'all have worked out. But as of right now, y'all had that status conference. And if there is a bankruptcy, then, and it, and it needs to be something, then Mr. Sullivan, you don't need to go over there. 
You know, you get somebody else. Work that work. Let Miss Bristol go through Miss King. If the, if the trustee is ordering you to sell it or you got to do something, work through your lawyers. That's the easiest thing to do is work through your lawyers. Because it ain't going to work out before your, your divorce. You don't want to say, will you marry me again? Mr. Bristow, I'm going to move you in town. So four, so you go back to four. Please, I got Miss Tanya. Go in there in that breakout room one with your aunt. If, you know what? Your aunt's fighting like crazy for you, Miss Sullivan. I told her, I said, I got relatives. I'm going to get in their car. I don't represent them. Lucky, go on in there, talk to both your, your people. Ms. Sullivan, go in there, talk to Miss Bristow. Y'all come back. Let me talk to these other lawyers. I'm not gonna scream at them too. You don't ever know. Let me see. Let me get up here. All right, there we go. Hey, Judge. So I believe that we have uh, spoken and we have uh, agreed that we will um, proceed as we discussed uh, in our breakout. Uh, conference judicial or bench conference with you um, with continuing it to the July the 1st. After the after conference? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And and, don't, don't, you know, find you a divorce lawyer. Don't put your niece in that, in that position. Well, and I did, um, I, I'm sorry, I forgot to ask this when we were broken out. Um, does Ms. Sullivan intend on living in the Merrill residence? Um, I would say that that is still up in the air. Um, as I indicated, uh, I'm not sure if we got to that. I know you alluded to it in your opening, but there has been some financial issues. Um, so I, I, she's indicated at one point, yes, she wants to, um, but that's been vacillating. And I think that's in part because of um, the fear that she's had with him coming back and forth and of her safety. So yeah, if, if she's loaded up a U-Haul, that's rocking up some money. Um, that, that was some, it, it was some personal things, but she didn't, you know, I, I don't yeah, believe. You got to pay for that U-Haul every day you have it. So that's an expense. Can well, she make, you think she could make a, a decision uh, by like next Friday, sit down, think about it. You guys all crunch numbers of what you got to do. See, Judge, and I'm not asking but, for the not asking me to be the divorce, Judge, and we've already had a conversation yeah. about that, Judge Manning. You are not going to stronghold me. No, no, but I'm saying, you know, can she make some sort of decision? I don't, I don't know. And I'm not asking, I just want to be clear, I'm not asking about this for the standing order purposes. I'm asking because essentially what I'm going to request is that the bond order, um, you know, be controlling over the home and that it not be included in the ex parte order that's being extended because either she's living there or she's not. And if she's not living there, my client would like to ask if he can, you know, modify his bond order to get permission to live there. He has nowhere to live right now. So if she's genuinely moved out, taken a U-Haul, moved all the stuff out, she's somewhere else, that's fine. We just would like to know. Well, and we would ask that it not be included in the ex parte order, you know, the home. At this point, I would say that she wants it included. The reason why she didn't go back to the home again is because even since the bond order was put in place, he has been ignoring that. And he, and he ain't gonna do that anymore. I'll tell you what I'll do, Ms. Bristow. If, so. if you find out she's not living there, if y'all figure it out, and Ms. Key, if, if she's got somewhere else to go and let Ms. Bristow know, if y'all let me know, I'll take, I'll modify the ex parte. Right, but how can I figure that out if he can't go over there? I mean, she's either living yeah, there or she's not. I don't, I don't, I feel like she could just tell us. Well, yeah. because we will, we will, as, as the judge has indicated, give us time. And I mean, you can contact us in a week or two. I mean, she is represented on this TPO by Teresa and I. So you can sit there. A week or two is very hard for my client. And, and he would like to know, is it worth getting a criminal attorney to modify the bond order? or not. And if he needs to do that, that that's a process, that's money. You know, so we, we would really like to well, know if she's taking is, all of her well, stuff even, even, even if she, if, 
Here's the thing: is that she's she moved now? out, and she doesn't have a problem. Okay, with we're it. not going to say that for her safety, Lily. I can't tell you that for her safety. So and saying, here's the I'm thing: she if, she moves, if she moves out, and she's okay with him going back there, and they let Judge Morrison's office know, I know Judge Morrison would, would probably modify that. It's pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple. Uh, but I mean, does she need like a week to talk to you? Um. I, mean, get a, I, I, I would get say two weeks. Plan. Two weeks. She needs. She needs more than that. I mean, this two is. Weeks, I think is a, a little ridiculous to figure out if you're going to move back into the house or not. I mean, she. When you say move back, she has not left. You did. He did tell you that her her adult, there was someone else living there. So you don't know if the U-Haul was for his things or for her things. So we saw the camera. He went back with a realtor and went in, and there's no bedroom furniture. She took the water dryer, she took the freezer, it's all gone. So, and that's fine. It, it, we're not arguing for her to bring that back. I just think if she could speak up now and let us know, is she going to live there or is she not? I think that would be helpful. Well, she, you can't pressure her into making a decision. And so we're not going to, we're not going to answer that now. Yeah. But I'm going to ask that she okay. needs a decision far sooner than two weeks. Well, I, I mean, you know, you could ask. I mean, uh, to move is an expensive issue. You can ask. So when she makes her decision, she makes her decision. Judge, I, I, you know, I, I don't know how to handle this. I just, you know, yeah. we're in agreement. I mean, if he what wants to order about? for do a bond motion, he can do that. I mean, I'm not going to force her with all that she has been under, with all that she has been under with this domestic violence and everything that she's having to relive this. I'm not going to force her to give you an answer. Okay, so here's what we do. So next, y'all, you two talk next Friday. Judge, in all mm -hmm. honesty, you can you can force her to give an answer by a certain day. And so I would ask so that you just give them some sort of answer next Friday. Because here's the thing: if, if this is going to be an asset to divorce, neither one of y'all are going to have any money. I mean, it's simple. And in next Friday, if you say you need three more days, you ain't got to tell her where you're going. But just. Think about it. I mean, because it's been since what day was, I mean, it well, it's literally since April the like, 4th. So it's been a month. It's been 30 days. So think about it. Give an answer to to, to Miss King or to uh right. what's your co counsel guy. So that she can communicate because you're still protected, Miss Sullivan. You are. You don't have to worry about it. But a house sitting there vacant when both of y'all or either one of y'all are spending money you don't have is just ridiculous. That that is ridiculous. If you're not there and you are gone, just let them know. Your Honor, I will, I will say for the court, Lily, she is she does not have another place to stay at this point. You know, when you say a place to stay, I mean she's not living uh in her own place at this point paying rent. She hasn't signed a lease or any of that. So she was planning on going back to the house, was scared to go back because she keeps seeing him on the ring and he was there on the 22nd and then he came back on the 25th and the 26th. So from a family standpoint, we have convinced her at least not to go back over there. So, I, you know. Right, so here's what I'll do though. So I'm just, I'll tell you this, look and see what you're gonna do on Monday. If you need to get your, I mean, I don't know that there's this big pot of money sitting there that y'all will get out of the divorce from one another, but I can tell you this, that sooner or later, that house is either gonna be sold or something. So, and if it looks like he's got to sell it because of the chapter 13 or, or whatever he's doing, then the house will be there for any, nobody to do. Uh, so if, if in the event there is, take a few days, think about it, sit with your family, whatever you got to do. But figure it out because there's no reason for it to sit empty. Well, she wants to go back over there, but if we, we will talk about that. And, and as the judge said, we will um you and i or you and teresa can talk on next friday and i'll let you know at that point in time if she's made a decision yeah, and miss silver i'm gonna tell you though uh it is giving you food for thought judge k is not very patient i am joe compared to him 
you know, so I'm just, you, you got to think life has changed. You got to, you got to think about uh, of what, what you're going to do because I know it, it is hard and it's decisions you don't want to make. And trust me, every day I beat my head on the wall because I try to decide where my mother wants to live. You know, when's good when, you're, when your, your, your parents have memory issues? What day do you make a decision? I don't know. <laughs> so, but you got to make one, Ms. Sullivan. I think part of it, Your Honor, is that as we know that the rental income has gone up. I mean, it's not oh. as easy to get anywhere oh, yeah. else to go or whatever. So if she stays there and just, I mean, she has a home as they both do. Well, she is not the one who committed the domestic violence. Um, yeah. You know, she's a victim of the violence. And again, we're talking about her still as she feels that he has manipulated and, and victimized, being victimized by the system. So to be oh, forced I, out. I ain't victimizing because I, I put Mr. Sullivan in jail. He violates my order. Quick as I will send him. I will come personally. Right. So, you know, the, it's, not just a matter of her, it's, not, it's just not a matter of her making a decision. I mean, there has to be. I mean, if that's something that she's going to do. She's going to have to move out regardless is the thing. This was his home when they got married two years ago. Yeah. So, and there's, there's tons of debt. So it's but, not like she's going to get the home and get to live in it. She's going to have to move out and figure it out no matter how what. Much at least take the weekend she's to asking for time to do that. How about y'all at least take the weekend to breathe and to think about it. And as my dad says, uh, consider the seven P's. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor don't violate one of them seven P's. <laughs> yes, ma'am. It's the seven P's, Mr. Miss Sullivan. So, Miss Free, I know you're typing. So, uh, send up that one for what on the first? Do you guys want in the morning? Do you have one in the afternoon? Afternoon. What do you say, Lily? I don't care. Okay. 9 30, 11, 12, 30, or 2. <sighs> That's a, is that a Friday? What day is that, Your Honor? That's, That's a Friday. Friday. Uh, uh, probably afternoon then if it's so going to be um yeah 12 30 works for me okay 12 30 then all right miss free we'll get y'all uh i think y'all have all done your intro appearance so we'll get you uh a reset notice and uh shoot it to you shortly it'll be e-file so if y'all are uh listed on there uh it should get to you for e-file sir all right all right. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Lily. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Take care. Mm -hmm. Let's call your work. Uh, work.